Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. We've got a few things coming at you here today. We've already wrapped it all up, but let's go ahead and talk about it quick. We put a front outer tie rod on, rear control arm on. Front rear control arm. Front rear control on the passenger side. Because you thought it was a good idea to be bent? No. <laughs> so we got that swapped out. That back tire sits much more straight which is exactly what we were looking for. We took it for a quick drive. It's still pulling left a little bit. Uh, probably do some research on that, adjust that front tie rod a little bit more. If you've got any recommendations, we would love to hear about it down below in the comments. So let's go ahead and jump into that footage right now. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, the car's moving. First time that's happened. I don't know if I've ever seen that happen. Getting the new tie rod in put on today. Finally got that in the mail. See how easy this old one spins off. Well, this is the new one. You see here, she doesn't turn at all. And this is our old one where the little bearing in here went bad and it just rotates, which is not good, which is why we ended up having to replace it. Can you even get to the hole for the cotter pin? Hold on, work it on. Try to line it up. Movement so graceful Wildcat in the jungle with dangerous claws Movement she anticipates a sight is set on her prey Like stars in the darkest night Crystallize, fascinate If you wanna stay alive If you don't wanna be her prey Don't stand in her way Run, run, run away Crystallize, crystallize Oh, <laughs> 
Between the old and the new, you can see here at the top, that's the curve this one, the old one had. This is the non-curve it's supposed to have. So we're going to be swapping that out, hoping that will clear up some of our pulling to the left since it did have that wheel shunted in quite a bit, and that will solve our problem. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are the Axel Brothers. I'm Blake. I'm Zach. And... I didn't think about what I was going to say after that. So as you just saw, we got the front tie rod, we got the rear control arm, we've done a lot of other things around the house. Just did a fresh oil change on the 2016 Sierra. We... You got the brake caliper for the I got the Fusion. brake caliper for the Fusion from Napa today. That went out. I put new brake calipers on the 07 Fusion on July 12th is when I bought them and the piston seal started leaking. No more brake fluid left in the reservoir. It's not a good deal. We're going to swap that new caliper on at some point. We'll likely bring you along for that. And then we're going to have to bleed those brakes. Luckily, that caliper is the furthest caliper from the brake booster. So hopefully we don't have to bleed them all. But we'll just dive into it and see what happens. If we have a video on Sunday, it'll probably be a dealer walk around or something. Uh, we're actually taking off tomorrow be out of town for the weekend so we're not going to be around to shoot any more car footage until then but anyway thank you very much for watching please leave a comment down below like the video make sure you're subscribed hit that bell icon so you never miss a new hit that bell icon so you never I did, never, 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 never. I did it again hit that bell icon so you never miss a new upload and we'll catch you next time until then have a great day